Hi, I'm Jean Panik Heathner, the Director of Sales at Thursby by Identive. This is part 9 of our 12 part Sabrosa for iOS user guide series. In this video, we will begin discussing how our enhanced OWA mail client works. If you don't know what Sabrosa is, or if you're not sure which app to download, I recommend checking out the first video in this series. A link to that is available in the video description below. Let's get started. To enable the enhanced OWA client, you will need to first browse to your mail address. After browsing to this address, you will notice that the mail icon is now blue. Tapping this icon will open the enhanced OWA client. If the URL for your webmail changes, simply go to the new URL in your browser to update the URL Sabrosa has cached. When you are inside the mail client, you can get back to the browser at any time by tapping the globe icon. When viewing your mailbox, you will see the different folders that you can find in an email client. Folders that contain this blue arrow have subfolders within them. Tapping this button will drill down into the folder structure and display the additional folders that reside within the parent folder. When viewing subfolders, you can go back to the parent folder by tapping the folder's name in the upper left corner. Folders with numbers next to the name indicate that there are unread messages in the folder. Tapping on the folder name will display all emails within the folder. It is also possible to connect to delegated mailboxes in Sabrosa. To connect to your shared or delegated mailbox, tap Delegated Mailboxes. Then enter the email address of the mailbox you can access and select it. Once a folder is selected, Sabrosa pulls messages from the server and displays them as a list. When you get to the bottom of the list, you can swipe up to prompt Sabrosa to get more messages from the server. Tapping the sort button will allow you to sort the list with the same options you see in a browser. While you are viewing the list of emails within the folder, you can quickly view the subfolders within it by tapping the subfolders icon in the lower right portion of the screen. To go backwards a layer in the folders menu, you can swipe to the right or tap on the, your name in the top left corner of the screen. Tapping the Edit button in the top right corner of the folders menu will allow you to add folders or edit, delete, and move multiple messages at a time, depending on which layer you are currently in. Another quick note is the difference in layout between when you are holding your device in landscape or portrait mode. In landscape mode, you will get a side-by-side -side view. To expand the email to fill your screen, just push the icon of the two arrows. In portrait mode, however, there is not enough space to create a side-by-side -side view. To dismiss the folders menu, simply swipe it to the left. If you need it back, you can swipe from the left of the screen to the right or you can tap on your name in the top left corner of the screen. If you have questions about anything you saw in the video today, or if you would like more information on our products, please feel free to reach out to us by phone or email. We'd be happy to answer your questions. In the next video, we will start discussing the enhanced OWA mail client and the various options available there. Thank you for your time today. I hope you found this video helpful.